What if I say you can draw this entire illustration in just three steps using Autodesk Sketchbook app? You are going to start off with a resolution of 2860 into 2080. This is a landscape illustration because we have the queen which is red chili and of course the hotness of it, a flame along with. We are starting off with a backdrop and I have added a base color of black and then I have added a new layer. We are using Tata Inker to add all the color shade which will resemble like a wood or a log. And here I think the chili is placed on a table and I am just going to add as many color as I want and then we are going to use blending brush to blend it across you don't have to be perfect with this because either way we are going to add a shadow of black around it and this actually look more realistic when you start working with the shadow and depth once you are done blending make sure to add one more layer so that we we add few more color of uh, brownish and a little lighter shade of it so that uh, it looks more realistic here so once we are done adding and then you don't have to be very rough with the smudges just go in a horizontal way and then once we are done like i said we are going to add few shades of brown and then we are just going to smudge it across for a stylistic look and then we are going to use flow airbrush to add the darker shade around the edge and then those uh, un those cluttery edge will be hidden by our darker shade and now we are almost at the last few seconds of this illustration which is the backdrop illustration and like i said we are using flow airbrush to add those edges in a darker shade and then slowly one big swipe in the wood layer itself i'm happy how does it look now we'll move on to the show topper that is to dry red chili this is very simple we are using fountain pen if you look at the toolbar there is a scale option from that i'm going to select the second one curve and then i'm going to slowly adjust the curve as how i want it to be and once i am then drawing one line i'm going to slowly bring it bring it down and add one more curve and then close the chili and fill the layer with the fill bucket option and then i felt like this is little bit narrow not little bit i need a little weather of it so i use the distort option from the image selection and then i slowly place it around the way i want and once done i'm going to add a new layer beneath the chili layer to add the tip of the chili and fill it with a green color and then i'm going to add lighter shade and a darker shade with the help of blending brush i'm going to slowly blend it across till i feel it's okay -ish. anyway once we are done adding it it's just few more steps to make chili look very realistic one if you're looking at any image look at the shadow of that image second look where it is getting highlighted that's where the entire illustration become realistic because you're giving more attention to the object than you have ever been given to in our scenario the chili will have shadow at the lower bit and the highlight will be on the higher bit so here i'm adding those darker shade at the lower side of the chili with the help of flow airbrush you make sure to use your sweet time because these are all in 2x speed once i'm done adding i'm going to slowly increase the size of the brush and going to add few more on the middle bit of the chili here so that it looks like it is mudging it around because i don't want to smudge on this layer there is not going to happen much then i'm going to add a darker shade of reddish tone and then we are going to add the highlight which will be on the top bit of the chili even to this time it is not looking realistic once you are done at the final stage it really pops out looking like a real chili on your desk or on a table and then we will be hopping on to our last step which will be drawing the flame so like i said i'm adding few more shade from the edge to inside and few more highlights on the top bit and then i use the lighter shade to add those realistic look in the chili and i'm happy how this has turned out make sure to tag me in your instagram because i'd love to see because this is the most easiest illustration i have done so far this look very tough but in real time i think we have used the help of scale and we have just used the help of flow airbrush we are not doing any blending but still i'm happy how this has turned into so once we are done with this we will be just adding few more shadow in the wood like like i said it is placed on a table and the chili shadow is going to fall on our wooden desk so we are just going to use same flow airbrush to add it across and then we are moving on to the final step that is to draw a fury flame 
now that we are in the final step make sure to add as many layers as you want we are just using freehand style and with the help of fountain pen and an yellow tune i'm going to slowly add a flamey like structure and then i'm going to slowly give more few more edge so that i can fill the layer also you can just use the help of flow airbrush to do but i felt like that will take a little longer time so i'm using flow airbrush in the middle to make it little bit orangish and then i'm using wash brush to slowly smudge up across the color and then bring this entire rough edges into realistic looking flame these are all in 2x speed so make sure to use your sweet time and also comment down below if you are enjoying this illustration so far do i have to make more realistic illustration in future i would be happy to because my channel is more of an aesthetic illustration where we have beautiful sunrise and sunset and some in the mid morning some in the night and it's it's very beautiful uh, illustration i have compiled in my video and make sure to leave the cue card for the entire aesthetic um, bit because i'm going to add it new playlist called uh, realistic where we have done few of the realistic illustrations so far and this one i came across in Pinterest and my heart fell for it i'm like oh my gosh i have to do this because yesterday i did very simple because it was monday tuesday i'm more motivated for the week now that i have finished blending across the edge and the inside i'm going to copy and paste this layer and then i felt like it is not needed so i'm just using flow airbrush to add a new layer beneath the flame layer to add those uh, bloom from the fire or the flame and once it's done i'm just going to reduce the opacity of the layer hope you guys have enjoyed this illustration make sure to like share and subscribe if you are my existing follower or subscriber thank you very much your support means a lot to me if you are new please make sure to click that thumb thumbs up button and also the subscribe button because we are the thriving community for art we have our newsletter we have our podcast make sure to give it a try see you all tomorrow till then take care Bye-bye.